Too soon. Okay. Too soon. Well, we'll carry on. Shin, what's your, what's your favourite game at the moment? Minecraft. <laughs> wow, cheap pop. Is that actually your favourite game at the moment? No, I mean, I, I still really do enjoy it, but honestly, it's, it's probably GTA with new game modes that came mm. out in free roam. It's, it's just been really fun to play. Okay, Tips. cool. Well, let's, <laughs> let's take our first question from the audience. I'm poised with a T-shirt here, but let's have a see. Let's, let's hear what it is. Oh, hang on. Microphone's not on. Try, try mine. Thank you. Am I good? Okay. Yeah. Um, wanted to ask each member of the panel what their favourite brand of beef jerky is. <laughs> there we go. I should have I should have probably cleared this up at the beginning. Obviously, we're sponsored by uh, <laughs> we're sponsored by Wild West Original Beef Jerky. Um, people who watch me in the mornings might know I have a certain habit. Um, and that is obviously when I'm playing Hearthstone, if I'm doing quite well, or if I'm doing really bad, take a bit of time out to enjoy what has been referred to as jerking with the audience. Um, and I will, I will basically neck a whole beef jerky or pork jerky. I'm easy going. Uh, my personal favorite is uh, Texas Joe's. Um, yeah. But there we go. But Duncan right. and the rest, if you'd like to talk about your favorite beef jerkies. Texas Joe's. Texas Joe's, there you go. Uh, I, uh, can I say the men's health one? Yeah. 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 It's, it's horrible. A I mean, little, a little bit of context. One. A little bit of context it's to the this. Plain one. So I keep on going on about how much I love beef jerky, but you can only really get it in America and all that. Mm. And then someone who watches our series, his dad works for Wild West. And um, so he sent us six massive boxes of all the different kinds of beef jerky and pork crackling that his dad's company do. And I kind of walked into the office one day and mm. saw this, and then a week later I had stomach aches because I'd pretty much <laughs> eaten all the way through it. So we have, in the office, we have so many varieties. It's like six types or something, yeah, isn't it? Of, of beef eating jerky. so much beef jerky. Yeah, I'm... Don't forget the biltong. I do like the biltong as well, yeah. And pork crackling. Oh my God, the pork crackling. It's killing me. Um, <laughs> so if, if, if Kim does me. die, yeah. you know, we might lose the sponsorship deal. Yeah, so, you know. yeah. Go to the gym. Uh, so enjoy it <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's hear it for that. There we go. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Next up. Hi there. This is for Duncan and Shin. So you've been through a town of owls. You've been through outer space. What's next for your quest? Uh, zombies. Zombies, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we... Um, we can say that, can we? Yeah, there's yeah. so many yeah. pictures have gone out where we're blatantly yeah. zombie yeah, apocalypse there's a survivors. Lewis, isn't there, somewhere we're in a there. safe room that looks identical to the Left 4 Dead 2 one as well. So. Oh, that's awesome. But it was really... Yeah, we, we finished recording it. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going out, but it was so fun to do that. I really can't wait to see what you guys think it when it does. Fun. I play a vet. What, Spoilers. a veterinarian? Or Confirmed someone who served in a... <laughs> a vet vet. A vet vet. Yeah. Animal vet. He's both a veteran and, a, and an animal doctor. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. There's another Yogg's Quest, though, as yes, well. Yes, we have there? a Yogg's Quest yeah. coming out so, that oh. we filmed with Hat Films when we were at E3 um, earlier this year. Um, and it's uh, Star Wars themed. Oh, mm. nice. Um, yeah. I don't know what stage it's at, but. It's almost, it's it's almost, almost ready to go. Um, so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure which channel or when it's going to launch, but keep your eyes out for that. So, that's well. my head there, just got in the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for the Star Wars one. Uh, both Kim and Hannah are unrecognizable. Um, am I allowed yeah. to say who I was playing? Yeah, of course you can. So, I played a Wookiee. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thought it was an Ewok. It's Come not on. an yeah. Ewok. It's a Wookiee. And it, it was in the proper, like, they got the proper Wookiee suit in. For a normal size and this, person. Well, for a six foot man. And normal so it's about, person. when I got into it, you could probably pit, fit someone else into yeah. it as well. Yeah. Like, we had yeah. to sort of, like, I think they had to, like, tape the legs up, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, so yeah. They had, they had boots for it, but the legs were so long, the legs were boots already. So, and I almost fell over because I was just shuffling around all over the place. And it got so hot. It was in LA, like, in yeah. the summer. It was so hot. Like, <laughs> it was impossible. But yeah, so and I yeah. had a weird headdress thing on, didn't you, I? You were green. I was green and I had a weird headdress that kept coming unstuck, didn't it? Yeah. So it was like every every so long we had to pause to repaint like yeah. Smith's ear because he kept scratching. <laughs> yeah, it. Smithy was like a silver robot. So I, the poor makeup woman was just like, just stop. Yeah, stop touching And then faces. started poking a brush in his ear again. Oh. Just, just stop doing it. <laughs> if you need to scratch, I'll do it with brush. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yogg's Quest. I like Yogg's Quest. Okay, next question. Here we go. Uh, has Shin ever been at risk of danger from how salty people get over his trolling? 
<laughs> I mean, are we talking in the office? Or are like we walking down the street? Danger? Man, I can't oh, believe you killed office. Smith. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so, so there's, there's been occasions where, it, where it's gone too far. But I mean, we always kind of realize that. And like 10 minutes later, we're all like, yeah, it was funny though. Hey, Duncan. Yeah. I think uh, we all are at risk of heart disease now. That's true. From all the salt in the office. How many yeah. times have you walked out of a recording because it's got so salty? Oh, we'd never do that. I think you have once. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not to say that. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He hasn't done it once. It's twice. Twice. It's twice. Three twice. times a shin. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I mean, it's when, when you kind of, I think the, the Gmod challenge is a good example of like, it's difficult to kind of balance trying seriously to make a plane and then um, having fun on the side as well. Mm. So it's... it's um, yeah, Duncan. <laughs> Sometimes Me? the, the I've balance heard, I've is... I've heard things. I built a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the funniest thing. it's the funniest thing to be like building a plane, going down the runway with it. Hat films are to the left of you. Ross, Trot and Smith <laughs> in a plane, three seats, and you can see their plane slowly disappearing as it's being deleted and they're just left there. Three <laughs> seats, thinking, where's my plane gone? So I think sometimes the trolling adds to it. It's just finding the balance, so... Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Let's hear it for that question. What are all your embarrassing school stories? Embarrassing school stories. Uh, that's funny. I, there's a funny story about that. I just met somebody who, who uh, Kim works with that I, I met at school just now, like 10 years ago. <laughs> so I'm sure like, you could ask her all the embarrassing <laughs> stories. Um, actually, don't ask her because she's got some real good ones. Um, I, yeah, Duncan? Uh, once I was playing with my school bag and I was swinging it around my head and I let go and it landed on the roof. <laughs> and I had to get the janitor to go and get it for me. Oh, oh dear. And I was late for history. <laughs> <laughs> I was late for history once. Yeah, that's that is thing. embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, what did the history teacher say? Uh, nothing. nothing <laughs> she didn't, didn't even notice. notice. I was quite often late for lessons. So oh, well. I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Anything from you, Hannah or Kim? I got enough. I've genuinely really. Gone you blind. had no embarrassing moments at school. No, I tried to forget them all, and I, I have. I got a great one when I was, I'd say, five or six. Like in reception, I did karate. I'm over here. Oh um, yeah, hello. And, um, <laughs> I thought you were over there. I yeah. said to the sensei, okay, this was after school. I said, sensei, I need to go to the toilet. He said, you can't go to the toilet. We're doing karate. <laughs> now my bladder didn't hear that instruction. <laughs> And I just wet myself uh, in that, and uh, I was, it was always joked about afterwards how I'd achieved a yellow belt. So oh. there you go. That's a legitimately embarrassing wow. story, but you've got to own Congrats. it. You've got to own yellow. it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That's a dad joke, but it's true. It is a dad okay, thank you. Let's hear it for that question. Thank you. There you go. Have a t shirt. I like that. Cool. Hi. Hi, Mario. Hello, Hello everyone. Uh, Shin, now that you've removed your facial hair down to a mere pin it a tiny percent of what it was. How do you think now you'd fend off a bear? Oh, actually, I, I didn't know With this. no weapons, sorry, no weapons. Oh, and no, I was going to say, because um, I didn't know you can actually get bear mace. Didn't, didn't notice this uh, until re uh, recently, but it's like mace for people, I guess. But I wonder, like, how good's mace going to be against a bear that's, like, the size of, like, a car when it's, like, close enough for you to get mace in its eyes? I think the more yeah. interesting question is, why were you discovering bear mace? What were you doing that... <laughs> Conjured up bear mace. I was in Canada. You need things stronger than people's Land of the bear. You're going to need this. So. Um, no, on a serious note, though, it's just kind of getting ready for Movember, I think. So. Aren't you meant to play dead against the bear? I, I think it's like a certain kind of bear. He's like one of those animals that sheds its tail, only Shin shed his yeah. beard. To be fair. And so the bear, he thought Shin was dead. Yeah. Honestly, if Shin's beard bear, grows so fast, he could just like hide in a bush for 20 minutes could. and it'd be, be back. Fine. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if you played dead, you'd probably get the bear close enough to use the mace. So it That's might true. be a good tactic. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the way I would go. That's a good way, don't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. Let's whistling. hear it for Mario. There you go. Mario. I love your work. <laughs> Hey guys. Hi, uh, Luigi. Hey, Luigi. <laughs> this question is for Duncan. Yep. Um, how do you feel about all the trash talk about your mum and your sister all the time? <laughs> do you get a lot? <laughs> do you get a lot? Did you watch the cool, Gone in 60 Minutes? It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool, uh, it's not cool but it's good content. <laughs> 
What upset me most is they won. They spent 10 <laughs> minutes chasing around <laughs> yeah. large women in GTA, calling them your mum and sister, and they beat us. I mean, that's, that's more painful to me. Obviously, well, it's not my mum or sister. Um, yeah. but I'm sore about that, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that snipe, though. I, the snipe was the best. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think it just, I just crashed. That was all. I know, but it looked like I shot you. <laughs> yeah. so that's the magic of editing, Duncan. Yeah. The magic of editing. <laughs> No, I, I did think you killed me at first, but then <laughs> I think you just shot the jet whilst I was crashing it. Yeah, so the game thought, no, we'll yeah. give it to him. Give it to shit. <laughs> he deserves one. Oh, <laughs> the pity kill. Yeah. Mm. There you go, fantastic. Let's Thanks hear it for that question. Cheers. Thanks, Luigi. Uh, hi, it's a question for everyone. Uh, wine or cheese? This could take a while. Wine or cheese? <laughs> wine. Okay, um, so... You're in a woods, and all you have is six bottles of wine next to you, and a bear. Drink the wine. Okay, you've drunk, <laughs> they've drunk, they've drunk the wine. The bear is approaching you. Um, he still thinks you're dead because you passed out. Of wine. <laughs> what Bonus. do you do? Well, I, I stay passed out, I guess. <laughs> the bear approaches you again closely, um, and he's oh. pretty much in your face now. Mace the bear. <laughs> Mace the bear. Push this in, like, in the way. Yeah, push this, in is, this is like adventure call. <laughs> okay, so uh, Shin, Shin's magically appeared from behind the trees uh, with the mace. Hello. <laughs> Killed <Are> Jester. You, <laughs> yeah, can we, can we, can Killed Jen. <laughs> uh, the bear is dead, but the baby cubs now appear behind the trees and see they're dead. Oh. oh. Let's collect them Murderer. and sell them to the bear. <laughs> sell bear. them? Oh my good god, <laughs> you're a horrible human being. To make them dance for money. Oh my god. No! Uh, I don't want to be a part of this. I do not approve of this action. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, the cubs then start to attack you. You've run out of mace. What mm. do you do next? You should die no, like the terrible person that you are. How big are the cubs? Um, oh Me sized. <laughs> <Duck is very laughs> what about this high? Oh, that's Me quite size. big actually. That's like a dog size. That's quite scary. Yeah, I'd probably just not. Run away, maybe. run away, maybe? Uh, you don't run away. Uh, the bears scratch your leg, and uh, oh. you've now broken your leg. Yeah. Broken just it? Go just bears go. down and die. On, I'm going to get a bottle and hit it with it. The wine bottle? Yeah, there's loads the of them. The wine bottles are ineffective. Ineffective? <laughs> I, I bet know. you wish you'd show me <laughs> cheese now, isn't You're it? You're dead. Yeah. Basically dead. Cheese? Dead. Just, just, just die. Just, just be done with it. I just died. Just the, the, the bears have killed you. Yeah. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Let's hear it for the go bears. bears. Go bears. <laughs> I don't like this game. Nah. It's hard. God damn, have bears. Does anyone else want to go? <laughs> no. Okay, there we go. Cheers. Yeah. Well done, bears. Thanks, dude. Well done. Hi there. Um, I've got a question. Out of all the games you've played, in which would you like your own voice pack? Ooh. Dota 2. That's it. Good Could you choice. give us some samples? You can't just say that, Duncan. Uh, I'm not going to buy it if I don't hear <laughs> it. Uh, Moldy kill. Wow. Was that a multi kill or a morning <laughs> kill? Yeah, I wasn't sure. Multi kill. Uh, multi kill. <laughs> multi kill. I'd buy it. I'd buy, yeah. I'd buy you screaming at me every time I played badly, don't you? Really? Yeah, that'd be funny. I mean, you, you can do that anyway. Died. You could You could make your own sound pack for Dota and just could. like give people the link it. on Steam Workshop. It wouldn't be the same, though, would it? You wouldn't get any money for it, but it would be the same. <laughs> I don't really want to hear myself shouting at me. I want to Who have here would like to hear Duncan people? shout at them while playing Dota? I'd love to hear that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Especially if I haven't got it's to pay. At least three. There we Maybe. go. Three, three people not paying. Great. Anyone else? Um, I'd go... For some reason, the first game that popped into my head was Mario Kart. But then I realised that Mario Kart doesn't really have any like, no, sayings. Yeah, or no anything. one's just anything. No, well, Mario goes... It's a me, Mario, and stuff. You could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah just a really, really bad impression of me, like half assed, just going, It's a me, Mario. Give me me. Beating you. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. That's the best I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Hannah. I don't know. Because the thing is, I play a lot of games which are very character driven. So Five Nights at Freddy's. Some? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't be one of the bad guys. Disgust yeah. me. You could, you could be one of the bad guys. You, you just, so you just have to go... You just pop up and do a jump scare. Uh, like that. Yeah, all right. I'll yeah. do that. <laughs> You'd be pretty scary bad guy. Yeah, you... Mm, Imagine yeah, just don't. opening a cupboard and Hannah's just there going... 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Like, no! Oh. Well, there was that period, like, a couple of years... Was it last year or a couple of years ago where we were just trolling each other endlessly in the office, especially with the Weeping Angel cardboard cutout? Oh, cut yeah! And then, like, you'd just appear in the window of... Mm. So you'd just turn around and there'd be Hannah just, like, in the window of your recording yeah. room. Just like, I still do that. Yeah. Occasionally. I got you back, though. When you, you were recording late one night, and I moved the uh, Weeping Angel cardboard cutout to right outside Hannah's room. And then she I was came recording out. late into the night. I left the office. I was like, peace out. And um, yeah, I got a really rude text message afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I know Kurt always wanted to hide stand. under the desk when you were doing a horror game and make you jump. Mm. Yeah, but that was a bit <laughs> awkward because the way the room's set up, it's fairly obvious. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> if Martin's got his headset on, his and he can't see us. Yeah, we did that one. Yeah. 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 was just wearing his Oculus, couldn't see us in the room. Yeah, <laughs> so he just came he in and went, jumped on him yeah. mid-scare. You'll see it when he edits yeah. the video, and he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Shin? Uh, maybe GTA. I mean, we were saying this the other day. I mean, when you're playing GTA and you type, it filters out the profanity. But the worst profanity in that game is the things that the cops will scream at you while they're hunting you down. Do you want to be a cop? It's, it's ludicrous. So I think we could do like a, a fluffy, nice cop pack where they don't swear at you. They just say, excuse me. Stop. Please, well, please, you Stop please drop that. your weapon. Oh, no I'm shooting now, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be good. Yeah, and I'm sure someone out there can mod that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Nice cops. It's a terrible mod. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Moldy coo. <laughs> And there we go. Let's hear it for that question. That's a good one. Uh, this one's just for Shin. Um, I just want to know how many golf balls you can fit in your mouth. <laughs> Do you have any we could demonstrate with? Does anybody have any golf balls? <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't want to get them out here. <laughs> um, that's the only thing. Some Interesting enough, apparently the, the lake outside used to be used as driving range, so there's probably a lot at the bottom of the lake. Bit so, of a segue, yeah. but so in other words, we'll find out later tonight, yeah. and we'll talk maybe two, two, two. <laughs> two. Uh, perfect. Oh, I think Thank you could fit more than two. Wait, hang on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> None. 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 That's not a spirit of trying, is it? <laughs> um, well, let's hear it for that question. <laughs> Um, this one is for the whole panel. Um, what games are you lo most looking forward to play and what will be on your channels? Mm. Overwatch, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's, um, we think it's probably going to beta soon. And, um, yeah, just can't wait to play it. I mean, they said, like, this year, right? So, last yeah. year's BlizzCon, so... I just, I've gone to, like, every event I've gone to that's had it there. I've played, like, yeah. non-stop. I just haven't done, done anything else. It's played Overwatch. It's so good. So much fun. Fallout. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. It's an obvious one as well, because it's mm. going to be amazing. And Doom. I'm excited Doom, for Doom. Doom. You're actually excited about Doom? Of course, I'm excited Doom, about Doom. Doom. It's got guns the things and you can do with shotguns in that, mate. Really? Oh. Did you not? Have you not seen it? I haven't, oh, no. the oh, There's some brutal shotgun things in that. <laughs> a bit of Rainbow Six, maybe? Because we did mm, like that, That was fun. We? Yeah, I was don't know how much fun. we'll do with it, but mm. it would be fun to play. I was looking forward to the, the, the Division yeah. about two years ago. Yeah. And it's still not out. So, yeah, I'm not really, I've kind of <laughs> given up on that game now. No. <laughs> mm, I probably won't play it on my channel because it will never end, but um, Persona 5, when that eventually comes out, and Final Fantasy 15, just because... Do you know what? When, when I was a games journalist, I was writing about that eight years ago. And, and it's still not out. <laughs> so you think you've got yeah, problems actually, making for two Every like event a, you go to, yeah. you go to the Persona yeah, panel. Yeah, you do. And look at the... And no, the Final Fantasy 15. Like, it's been in development for like oh, nine yeah. years now. Um, and it, I think it's due out next year or something. Nice. Um, and I've, I've, written, I've written a dissertation's worth of articles <laughs> on that game. So they, they have to get this game right, because if they don't, then the they're series screwed, is going to yeah. die. Yeah, Doesn't so, matter, yeah. they're doing Final Fantasy VII again, aren't they? So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That'll yeah. make them all the money. ka <laughs> mm. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Well, let's hear it for that question. That was a good one. So this is a question for the whole panel. Um, so out of all the Minecraft mods out there that you've played with and uh, interested, what would you say is your favorite? And also, what would you want to implement that to yourself if you could? Uh, my favorite mod is probably Witchery. Yeah? Um, yeah, I really enjoyed like the it. the gauntlet. Uh, yeah, but it's not really something we covered. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed Witchery. 
Um, well, as you can see in Fox Body Season 1, we used it a lot, and I just enjoyed the fact that you could turn a death mm. at the end of it and just wreck everyone. Um, and now there's flying monkeys, so what's not to like about flying monkeys in Minecraft? Of <laughs> rabies. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think they've yeah. implemented rabies in Minecraft. There's a rabies yeah, mechanic, so. yeah. Yeah, we should implement yeah. that. So maybe that would be mm. the second part of your question, let's implement rabies, and then send <laughs> it this way. <laughs> like, yeah. Jeez. I like all the, like, well, the, the very first mod that I remember thinking, wow, that's amazing, was um, Buildcraft. And just seeing the little things go through the pipes for the very first time, <laughs> I was just like, this isn't Minecraft anymore, this is, this is amazing. Mm. And wasn't and, it Sips that was nicking your stuff in the end anyway? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was all planned, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, just, I, I just got blown away by seeing that for the first time, so it's still like my favourite, I think. And what would you want to implement into that if you could put anything improvements onto that? I don't know. I just love crazy weapons. So the more crazy <laughs> weapons, the better, really. Like <laughs> some kind of giant mining laser in the sky that you can like, aim anywhere you want on the map and blow up. Stuff. I don't know. So, that's what I want. Like a Death uh, Star. God help Like us. a golden eye. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know the first person you'd aim that towards is Shen. Where? What? Oh. Hey, we helped each other out. What are you talking about? Yeah. Spoilers, yeah. that episode hasn't gone out yet. Well There's, done. Well, okay. Fine. Spoilers. Can't say anything. Spoilers. I think, um, for me, it's probably Ancient Warfare. It's, it's what I've been playing recently. Uh, it's a close call between that, Britannia, and uh, Ars Magica. But I think Ancient Warfare is nice because, like Duncan said, Buildcraft set the precedent for pipes and stuff, transferring things around and creating power in the game. And it's something that every mod has borrowed, so it's mm. been like a foundation. But Ancient Warfare takes that and says, well, hang on a sec, how can we do this like low tech? So with windmills, water wheels, and then instead of pipes, you have like NPC couriers. They'll actually pick up something and drop it off in another box. I think that's it's kind of a really, really good idea. What would I add to that? Um, I don't know. I think the mod's still in beta, so there's probably a lot, lot more to come that's going to be great. But I think, um, yeah, more types of NPCs and, and siege, siege weaponry and more kind of abilities to have an army and have that army fight for you, I think would be a good thing. Good AI. Yeah, well, no, the AI is actually quite, quite good, but, it, you know, there's still room for improvement, yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I think you sort of took mine of Witchery. Oh, it's only one you played. <laughs> didn't want to play. So let's be honest, I'm not a Minecraft oh. fan. What would you add to it, though? What would I add to it? I don't what know. Would, what would you want? So what would you add to it to make it that you want to play it? You'd probably want a Mad Max mod. What, in witchery? Well, not in witchery, but like <laughs> in Minecraft, like building really super fast cows and having, like, I don't know. Maybe, or, um, I don't know, yes. I, I quite like, like the brooms in witchery, but they really don't like servers. Mm. Like, so you so it as some kind of Quidditch mod. Yes. Mm. Quidditch. Yes, yeah. that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Quidditch. You'd be all over that. I would. There we go. Let's hear it for that question. Thank Thanks. You. How did you come together as the Yogg's cast? World of Warcraft was yeah. the main thing. We used to play together in a guild. Um, yeah, and we, we and then just we, kind we of picked her up along the way. Picked her up later on. She was a stray. I was jobless. <laughs> she was going around. We need a video editor. <laughs> she sort of stuck job, around. Please, please, sir. And then yeah, I grew like a rash. So. That, yeah. That's it. Yeah, we, we were friends that had similar interests, played the same game, and, and Simon and Lewis. Um, made their channel and it, it, it did really well. And, and yeah, we joined in on one of the live streams Christmas once, and then after that, Lewis was like, "You guys should just make a channel." Yeah. So we did. Mm. Here we are. <laughs> 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 yeah. Good. Beautiful. Cool. Thank you. Well Thank done. You, dude. Hi guys. Want to ask is who do you think is the biggest nuisance in the office that has like really annoyed you in some way? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, biggest, <laughs> biggest nuisance. I think we're all pains in the ass, to be honest. Hey, we all say <laughs> hey. We all are. We, we all, all we all wind each other up and troll each other and bug each other. Uh, maybe Tom. Tom Clark. Which, which yes. Tom? Which yes. Tom? Yes. Tall Tom. Sorry. Hey guys, you want to play this game? Yeah. <laughs> no, Tom, don't make me play that game. Plus, he puts together the ridiculous GTA playlists yeah. that yeah. are impossible. Oh, yeah. my God. He like, comes in giggling like, oh, I've got a really <laughs> ragey playlist for you. And we're like, oh, no. You're going to hate yeah. this one. Yeah. Oh, and he, he loves it. He loves our pain. <laughs> so, and we love him for it. So. <laughs> Tom, one of, one of the Toms. The bearded Tom. <laughs> Tom the horse. Yeah. Tom the horse. He gets around the guy. Where is Tom the horse? He's a bike now. 
He's a bike. Yeah, yeah he's oh a bike. Oh, God, yeah. He cut him open and put a bike oh, in there. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. fun, wasn't it? And set him on fire. <laughs> yeah. Whip. Said, whoa. Are you still around? Yeah, it wasn't the real Tom. We used the fake Tom. We used Terps' Tom. It was, it was my yeah. Tom from oh, San yeah. Francisco. Stunt Tom. Yeah. So is the real Tom... He's, he's in my house. He's, he's next he's to in my... your house? Next to my, next to my bed. Really? Yeah. Aww. If I get lonely... Give him a cuddle. And can't sleep. Don't finish that. Yeah, please you don't. Give it a hug and kiss goodnight. Horse attend me. End. Horse attend me. <laughs> Horse me. And he just <laughs> leaps. Should we get the next question? Yeah, next yeah question. quick. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Thank you too. So, um, out of all the series that you've done, were there any that had um, plans for other people to participate in? Like, say, um, Owl Island or um, Vaults? Owl Island? I, yeah, I don't know. It was, it, we just sort of, like, pootle along with that. Um, I think at some point we were going to do maybe a Flux Buddies thing, but I think we came over to you instead, yeah, didn't you we? Yeah, did a thing. Mm. We did a thing. But we stole our luggage. We yeah. did. That was accidental <laughs> originally because the server crashed and then we found it. <laughs> and, you know, we just thought it was buggy luggage, so picked it up. <laughs> oh, buggy luggage. I love that. Yeah, and then uh, it turned out <laughs> not to be at all and it actually belonged to them. So, yeah, there was like an accidental one there. But um, Me and Shin had plans and picked someone to get uh, Zoe in. That's oh, right, yeah. yeah. We never got around to doing it. Yeah, the series kind of slowed down a bit, didn't it? And we, we kind of moved on to other things. Yeah. So. That never happened. Do you think we'll come back to pick someone? Well, I, I stopped doing it, and not a single person has ever asked me. <laughs> oh. where, where it is. Would anyone so like to see pick someone back? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no one. There you go. Hulk Hogan yeah, no was in it. it. It was great. It was fantastic back then. Oh, the day. yeah. I think it was a good series. It was nice. I was, I you were terrible Pokemon <laughs> trainers. Burning down uh, gyms. Pick someone trainers. Yeah. You really were. I, right. I had to purposely lose. Shin doesn't know the thing. Yeah, I had to purposely <laughs> lose. I, I had to throw the, the game. Yeah. Yeah. The Spoilers sound. there. <laughs> the gym leaders weren't allowed to win. No. No. And we almost did by accident. <laughs> except, except Lewis, he was allowed to win. But yeah. still managed to lose. Wow. <laughs> no, no. We, yeah. we gave him bad Pokemon and told him they were good. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis. You're not sorry, you big <laughs> liar. Had, like, no offensive attack. He only had camera up, an earthquake, and that, yeah. was, that was carrying him through, to be honest. That's pretty OP, actually. Yeah, it is, actually. I think yeah. that, that's why we play Minecraft, though, on, on kind of the big servers. When you look at Flux Buddies and things, and, mm. and all the world's kind of in, in the same place, it's because in the future we do mean to kind of get together and do, like, like the recent Flux Buddies Yeah, we want the option crossovers. to be there mm. when we make a series. GTA as well, I mean, on the main channel, that, that, that gets as many people in as possible, and we have a good time with that, I think. Mm. Also, Duncan, um, how are you handling um, Blast Off? It's, I think it's slowly driving us insane. <laughs> and by slowly, I mean it's happened. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, keep watching it, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Fantastic. So, Duncan, because I love grape soda, I'm wondering, don't you just love grape soda? Well, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, when we were in Five Guys and you're like, I'm actually going to try grape soda. I, 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 tried, I tried it again recently, I was thinking, like, I, I, there must be something about it that, I'd, uh, that I can find to like. And it turns out, no, there's, there's nothing. It's, it's just foul. <laughs> Just drink more of it. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I, I poured it down my face. In, in, a, in the advert, uh, yeah. I, I, it's just horrible. It just to tastes be like honest, chemicals. that grape soda that you bought for us to film the um, Flux Buddies advert with was horrible. It's like, <laughs> like any other grape was, soda. Well, especially when I poured it out and it was like pink. It, it, yeah, it, it was, it was gross. livid purple. And I was just like, I don't really know if I want to be drinking this. It's like, it looked so horrible. You started um, it. Yeah, but I like the Five Guys one. Like, That's true. Yeah, the can one, not so much. That's, what, isn't it the same thing, though? Fanta I don't grape. know if it's a different like, mix or so, I don't know. Um, don't like it. <laughs> keep, keep harassing okay. him, maybe he'll start liking it. No. <laughs> no. I have you. discovered no, raspberry grape Coke soda. Recently. Thank you. <laughs> raspberry? Yeah. Mm. This is a question for all the panel. Because um, <clears throat> you've eaten a lot of beef jerky, how much can you fit in your mouth? <laughs> How much beef can you fit in your mouth, Shin? <laughs> <laughs> Roughly two golf balls worth. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, a great deal, probably. 
I know this is a very vague question. Can you put a lot of meat in your mouth, Kim? I'm not answering that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I reckon I can get a whole bag in. Uh, I mean, if you stacked if it. If only we had a room filled with bags <laughs> to test this. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't want to be chewing beef jerky for the next 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's my morning stream as well. If anyone wants to watch that, it's just me chewing on beef jerky all the time. <laughs> I, I really, really authentically love beef jerky. It's, it's my go-to gaming snack. And which brand is your favourite? <laughs> no, well, no, legitimately. I, <laughs> I graduated from Jaffa Cakes to beef jerky. And I know a lot of people thinking it. I'm very slender looking at the moment. I've lost £30 over the last three months. And that is in part to beef jerky. Uh, no, no additional exercise. You eat that much. <laughs> just not eating all the other crap I did eat. So. It's nothing to do with being a new dad. Well, like no, that. that was making me. That was making me really <laughs> fat. I was eating just uh, you know, a whole pack of hobnobs in the morning. I say the morning, like 2.30 a.m. Um, but that's the joys of being a new dad. That's the get you through <laughs> it, kind of. But there we go. Well, if you want to see someone eat a lot of beef jerky, tune in twitch.tv slash turps. <laughs> nice plug. Oh, Let's hear it for that question. Thanks, Thank you. Uh, this is for Kim and Hannah about Fight Night. Um, what is your favourite game and who gets so um, most freaked out at it? Probably Outlast. Yeah. No, Alien Isolation. No, Outlast. Outlast. You cried. Only cried. because, <laughs> only because of the DLC bit. Yeah, the, but you cried. With Eddie Gluskin. Because that was a bit too much for me. It because it was essentially assault, and like yeah. I was, really wasn't down with that. Yeah. But like everything else was kind of good humoured. Like. You know, sometimes like you enjoy being scared. You know, like yeah. you watch a scary movie or something like that, where you put weeping angels outside your friend's recording room. Um, yeah, so I definitely say out. Oh my god, Shin! I just spilled my water. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's wow. everywhere. Oh Shin! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You're Amazing. I think this is scarier than Outlast right now. Oh, so I saw dear. some electrical equipment up there. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all on the table, but yeah, it's slowly the, creeping the this way. Are like, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but no, I think so Outlast, sorry. I think you're probably right about Alien. Alien was a good scare because that alien AI was insane. Like, the fact that it was so smart and adapted to what you were doing, so you couldn't, <laughs> like, you know, use a certain tactic. But then we, we, then... Uh, we sort of like called up Jack Frags so and was just like, dude, how. He just got speed any ran it. He got he's, the speed running record yeah, at E3. Was it E3? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was I in like it minus was. numbers. It was something crazy. Was so crazy. we called, like, basically called him up and was like, dude, help. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think probably Outlast. Mm. So it'd be interesting to see the sequel. Yeah, we can't wait for the sequel. Also, Alison Road could be good. Yes, which is the PT inspired Kickstarter game. If you mm. want to see us really scared, I suggest you look at the Kickstarter for Alison Road because, yeah, it's going to destroy us. And maybe Soma as well. Soma. Yeah, we we'll are going to play Soma next week uh, <laughs> on my already, channel. It? Yeah, it's out already, but we haven't had a chance to record it because uh. we have to come and meet all these lovely people and play Until Dawn. Yeah, which um, we finished. Which we finished. And not everyone's dead. Spoilers. <laughs> I didn't say how many. Just eight <laughs> people to kill. But yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Fantastic. Well done. Uh, so far, what do you guys think about the new Legion expansion for WoW? I like Kim, it. Kim, what do you think about the Legion expansion? I haven't played World of Warcraft for over a year. <laughs> I can't remember my password and I couldn't be bothered to reset it because I deleted the Authenticator <laughs> app off my phone and it's all been a disaster from there. So I haven't played World of Warcraft in a year. Guys! You yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing a Demon Hunter. I think they sound really fun. Uh, I think it looks really good, actually. It's lots of callbacks to Warcraft 3, which is a very important game for me. Shin? They haven't announced, like, a huge amount. I mean, yeah, it's, it's Burning Legion, and you get to be a demon hunter, which, which does. I mean, it's, it, they said, I mean, I think we, we spoke to Tom, me and, me and Duncan were lucky enough to speak to Tom Chilton at, at Gamescom, and, and he said demon hunter was the first hero class they wanted to add, but they couldn't really do it. And then by the time... They could, it was Wrath of the Lich King, and it didn't make any sense to add a Demon Hunter then. So they're really glad they can come back to that. It sounds like a really cool mobile tanking <laughs> class that I'm mm. really keen to get into. Also, like, they're redesigning a bunch of the other classes, like Hunter mm -hmm. is going to be yeah, a melee class as well. Yeah, really good, actually. But Blizzard always have like, this way of, of pulling it out of the bag and making you excited about whatever they do. So I'm sure there'll be something that you know, just blows our tops, especially with BlizzCon next month or so. Yeah, I so, oh, can't wait. 
yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. Cool. Oh, awesome. I can't wait for artifact weapons. Yeah. We're going to get Ashbringer. Finally. I will hold it. I'll be the best paladin. No, I won't be. You and every know. other paladin. Yeah, you and every other paladin. paladin. Ashbringers. But We've hey. all got Ashbringers. <laughs> It'll be great. Anyway, let's hear it for that question. Fantastic. Hi, guys. This is a question to the whole panel. Hang on. Mike. Hmm? Mike's dying. There you go. Just talking to that one. Hi. This is a question to all the panel. As we've got a parent of a 12 year old there right in front of you, who's <laughs> probably one of your biggest fans. I'd just like to know why you have to swear so much on your YouTube channel. I don't. I don't That's have swears on my YouTube channel. But she comes and swears on mine. I don't, I don't say it. I haven't dropped a single swear there's, on yours. There's a P word in Until Dawn. A P? I don't even know Penis. what that is. Pants. Oh, and there we go. Swear. Technically. Technically it is. Um, personally, I've always sworn. And, like, the audience has grown around that. And I have no reason to change myself based on who watches my videos. Like, well, just as a parent, oh. it's one of the, <laughs> one of the uh, things I, I hear a lot. You know, I've yeah, got one of those new mics now, so I can say any swear word I want, and it just <laughs> bleeps them out. Really? Which I think they may think. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get me one of them. No. They, they, they <laughs> I need one of them, for sure. Do they? Are you lying? Do these exist? No. Don't <laughs> 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 exist. Uh, thank you, anyway, for your time. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's Ryan, by the way. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Ryan. <laughs> Let's hear it for that question. <laughs> Thank you. Next up. Um, this is a question for the Flux Buddies. Uh, why did you choose Flux as your name? Because <laughs> we're both... Flux. No, Fluxed. that's not why. <laughs> you know that's not why. For the record, I had nothing to do with it the name... It took a month to like, realise. The name... Title, decision, word. You did. I choice. Text, I asked you, and you agree with that. Films because, kept going. Because, hey, because, flux, buddy. Because I, I did not. Because the idea was like, you know, I got. This is going to sound so bad. I got the flux when I fell into the sphere, and we were going to go with that whole route and all that. And so we were trying to find a name because that was Galacticroft, wasn't mm. it? And we were trying to find a name for the next series. And he suggested, we couldn't think of anything. The names we came up with were terrible. And then he texted me this name, and I went, oh, yeah, actually, that really sounds That's great. A great name. Because, you know, I've got the flux, again, sounds terrible, and we're buddies. And it was only when we'd recorded the first, like, however many episodes, and my editor came to me, Kim, are you sure about the name of this series? And I was like, yeah, it makes sense. And he went, but it's a bit. And I was like, I don't know what you mean. And then I kind of had that slow, cold <laughs> yeah. realization of just what the hell I'd gotten myself well, into. Trot kept seeing you and going, hey, Flux, buddy. Yeah, but Trot's just creepy and, naturally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, so it didn't register. Like, oh, it registered know. with everyone else. But yeah, That's it was one of those part. spectacular moments where I honestly just didn't get it, and then it was too late, and now this is where we are, and that's my life now. It's just, you know. <laughs> you love it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, so, yeah, sorry. So blame Duncan, basically. <laughs> so blame <right>? Duncan, basically. <laughs> I don't know, you agreed to it. Because <laughs> I thought like, it was a nice name. And I so thought I you had what some sort of understanding. That's all I thought. I was on the impression you did as well. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, did, I, totally, well, I go. genuinely totally didn't clue in. <laughs> Let's hear it for that question. Thanks, well done. Thank Cheers. You. It's this guy again. Hi, again. Let's assume that you've had a letter from mm -hmm. a park warden and you are being forced to live in a house with a bear. Let's assume that the first thing that no. you're not allowed to do, the rule of the house, is he cannot kill you or attack you. What's the second rule that you all would lay out, and you Terps as well, for the bear, for house rules? No going through the trash? Is that... Poop in the, the toilet. Bear. Poop in the toilet. Nowhere else. Poop in the toilet. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> but if I have to live with a bear... Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a <laughs> it's a legitimate situation. Do you really like bears? <laughs> no, no, it's just off has, topic. <laughs> has a bear ever, like, I don't know, have you, do you have some bear-related trauma or something like no, that? No, no, we played Bears Can't Drift earlier, right. which was kind of weird. Yeah. So it's... You don't live with a bear yourself, do you? Right? No. No, okay. No. <laughs> oh, I can't, well, I might do. I can't tell her that, though. <laughs> oh, oh shit. She's in Egypt. She's in Egypt. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and my phone's, uh, I think my phone's off, too, so she can't hear. It's yeah. being recorded, though, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, she yeah, won't yeah. ever see it. Just hide it. Burn it. all the I've we'll smashed all of my computers up at home. <laughs> <laughs> or I will do. Come on, you have to answer. Yeah, uh, if I live with a bear, I think 
So number one rule is it can't hurt me. Yeah, that's number that's, one. That's, 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 that's yeah. a good rule. That's a given. Okay. I think it has to wear a dress at all times. Nice. <laughs> wow. One of yours? <laughs> one of your mum's? Damn! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Mario got skills. <laughs> right. Nice. Don't eat the beef jerky. Don't That'd eat the beef jerky. Role. How yeah. is that yours? Terps? Yeah. Uh, well, for a bear, I just wanted to do its fair share, really. You know, that's what would upset <laughs> Contribute me. to the household. Exactly. I'm yeah. like, you know, I've unloaded the dishwasher three times this week, and you've done nothing. <laughs> I, that would just, it would just be half the jobs, basically. I say just, but... Is the is your bear's got babysitting duty, or is that um, a no? To be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if the bear was my baby. Um, the <laughs> oh. amount of uh, defecation that goes on <laughs> in the house, um, <laughs> You know, and the answer is no, they don't just do it in the woods. They do it everywhere. <laughs> so, there you go. Cool. Thank cool. you, guys. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, right, guys, this is for everyone. Uh, say the Oldscast never happened, or you were just not a part of the Oldscast. What line of work would you be in, or what job would you have? Um, I'd probably still be video editing. Because um, that's what I was doing when I met these guys. Um, so I'd probably still be video, edit video editing in the games industry. Oh. Good work. I guess I'd still be working at the university I went to, helping with events, and probably going into events planning that way. I mean, definitely a pro gamer. I mean, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm just the Not best. Not an architect. At, no. uh, yeah, that's a serious answer, though, isn't it? Like, but like, yeah, I think like CS:GO. I'm just a, like a pro with the AWP. <laughs> Minecraft. I know how to craft everything in the game. Yeah. Duncan. Programmer. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be a professional wrestler. <laughs> um, what would your name be? <laughs> the Bear. Yes. That's a good Sit one. down, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> the bear. I don't know, Duckman maybe. I like duck ducks. Man. Duck man. <laughs> <laughs> Duck man. Who would be scared of duck man? <laughs> well, you could like, you know, he's mallard. What would your outfit be? <laughs> would you come out in a duck face? Just yeah, like... you could use the Pringles, you know. Like, <laughs> and then you could crunch them down. Like, what would so your finishing move be? What do ducks do? Fly, fly they away. They quack. Yeah, they waddle. That's about it. Waddle out. Didn't think this through. What <laughs> would your finisher be? My what? Your finisher. My finisher. Okay, okay. Something that's to do with ducks. The flying um, V. From the hit film. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Fly, fly away home. Uh, that's, that's geese. That's... You could lay an egg, you know, and then hit them with the egg. <laughs> a lucky <laughs> egg. You can buy yeah. the t shirt. Golden egg. No one has. Just but get, pick you it could. up, hit him with the egg. That's a goose. And then again. it could, like. A go you should goose. just be a goose. A golden egg. I don't a like geese, though. Well, <laughs> ducks don't have golden <laughs> eggs. I like ducks. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I really want you to go into this profession now. I think uh, yeah. if everyone could unsub from Duncan's channel when you get home, um, I think we can help <laughs> yeah. encourage him mm -hmm. into wrestling <laughs> as the duck. If every single p one of my subscribers donates a pound, I, I could be a professional wrestler. I think that, wow. that's my dream. <laughs> if only we could get the message out. <laughs> I can't see it happening, sadly. It'd be good. I'd probably be a, a male model. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I can totally you know, see that. I'd not, like to, not a singer. Well, I could, I could do singing as well, but look really good whilst doing it. I think that would be <laughs> that would what work. I would go for across the board. Um, I am known for being a fantastic singer, and you know, I, I think that I'd probably end up going into singing full time. You know, I don't know what I'd sing, but probably any songs. Just got a voice that <laughs> all is... Songs. All, all yeah. songs. All songs. All songs. Yeah. All songs. Well, musicals mainly. I just do... Oh, right. But I change all the words to be about Duckman. And uh, try legends. and become yeah. your entrance music. You could do my like, entrance music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The residuals music. on that, I wouldn't need to yeah. work again. Just do one duck related song, done. That's it. That I could work at the Yogs cast. Hooray! <laughs> cool. Well, let's hear it for that question then. Thank you. Thanks. You have to excuse me, I'm a bit nervous. Um, how would you describe your relationship, not only as work colleagues? Oh, we're friends. Yeah, yeah, we're all friends. I mean, to uh, be honest. Flux buddies. I think work yeah, colleagues we're, is a we're bit... Flux buddies. It's a stretch. It's just... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not, yeah we, I don't think we even consider each other colleagues. I think we were, we were friends before we were colleagues, really. So. Well, I got hired by you. Well, you, yeah. you're not what you were. Uh, you're different, <laughs> but, uh. Professional friend. That's good. Professional friend. Professional friend, yeah. Yeah. That's like, it. Um, I mean, like, I'll go home most evenings, just go on to, like, voice comms, like, TeamSpeak, and just say, all right, Duncan... 
I'll play some Heroes of the Storm. That's yeah. my evening, basically. Yeah, so, and then yeah. like Zoe and Silas. Yeah, same with all that of, um, office yogs as well, like mm. Rudy and Zoe, the Zoe, all that. You know, we yeah. chat with them and play with them outside. I mean, of the reason why most of the people in the Oscast are in the Oscast is because they were our friends. Like, that's, that's the reason. And they're yeah. all very talented people. It happens <laughs> that they're also our friends. Yeah, Such a obviously the ones, like, the ones that weren't talented didn't get, didn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, Not pro like gamers, Joe. Though. Joe, Joe. Oh, you remember and that guy, yeah. Frank. He's yeah. Eilis? Oh no, we've let him in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, dude. Cool. Hi, everybody. Um, I'd like to ask, what was the very first video game you ever played? I don't want a cool answer. I want the real answer. The real mm. answer for me, I think it was called The Scarab of Ra. <laughs> and it was on my dad's black and white Macintosh. And it was like the kind of dungeon crawly thing, and you had to like go around this like temple, and you got like a snake in front of you, and it was, and my dad had like changed all the sounds to like random wabs that he'd got online, and it, it was weird. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably um, the ice climbers game, like um, so you know in. Uh, Super Smash Brothers, there's two characters who are like Eskimo ice climbers. Like, it was oh, yeah. their original game from where, I don't even know what console it was on because it was at my uncle's um, in Malaysia. And if I'm honest, it was probably a pirate console. Because <laughs> Malaysia, you know, as a half Malaysian, we have no respect for piracy laws. Um, so I think the entire console was just a pirate console that had loads of... Um, NES games on it, and yeah, it was it was Ice Ice Climbers is the the one that I remember most. And um, what's the one where Dig Dug? Yeah, like where you dig, dig the hole and then try you not pump to pump up the thing. Yeah, and try not <laughs> to they die. pop. Yeah, that yeah, was that basically Yogg's cast the game before we existed. Mm. Dig yeah. Dug, yeah, that's all it is. Dig yeah. Dug. <laughs> Mine was probably a game called Jill of the Jungle, um, which oh, yeah, I yeah that. or Save Our Pizzas. It was like both around the same time, which is a side-scrolling game about a squirrel that goes back in time to stop the Romans from destroying pizzas. God knows. Um, but yeah, Jill of the Jungle as well. Basically Tomb Raider, pre-Tomb Raider, effectively, <laughs> wasn't it? So, one of those two. Uh, mine was probably... Um, well, he's going to show his age, wait for it. Uh, it was Pong. <laughs> Pong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, um, it was uh, a game called Cauldron on uh, Amstrad something. It was like one of those games used to yeah, come in like... I remember uh, that. Yeah. Games used to come on tapes, like you had to play like three minutes of it. And it wasn't like a bad like music track. You just had to wait three minutes till the song finished and then the game loaded. I and bought one of them once, a yeah. car boot sale. I thought it sounded like an awesome like mu <laughs> music thing. And I put it in my tape player and it was just like a modem. <laughs> <laughs> Just, so the front cover is just like characters yeah, jumping over. Like, like, oh, yeah, it sounds had, like, like cool base. characters and like like aliens and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's just some kind of crazy storybook. But it was just modem noises. That's that's it. I mean, oh, Duncan. if you complain about loading times now, like yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. they're like jacket potatoes, weren't they? Even if you weren't in the mood, you put a game on just because by the time it's mm. done. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember yeah. the anti-piracy as well? So like the Lion King, you had to have the physical manual, and it would go, "What's on page three? Paragraph six or something like that. Didn't work. Simba. Word three. All of it was Simba every time, but yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it was hyena. Oh, well, there you go. Hyena. <laughs> oh, for me, um, oh, I don't even know what my first video game was. Uh, I liked. I had Karate Kid on the BBC. I had uh, Paperboy on the Commodore. That was amazing. Mm. Um, and I guess my first game I ever bought with my own money was Constructor by oh. Acclaim. And I love that. And they're making an HD version of that now. So I can, I can still hear all the voices in my head. I was you talking know. about this game yesterday, wasn't I? Yeah, we brought it up, yeah. yeah. There you go. Did you, did you get it originally? I used to play multiplayer with like a you know, serial LAN where you'd plug two games Yeah, wow, over. yeah. I played it with my friend. There we go. So we should do some Constructor. Yeah, we should. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank Let's you. hear it for the question. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, my question's for everybody. I I think it's really impressive that you guys make a living being creative. I think finding an art and actually getting paid for it is really cool. But how often do you guys work an average work week as far as hours go? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> some weeks it's like All the time. reasonable and then some weeks... I work like eight hours a day maybe. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it depends. I mean with, uh, with YouTube being what it is, I mean a lot of us stream as well in the evenings or during the day sometimes. And that adds time as well. 
So yeah. I think as well, like we never turn off because we're always checking Twitter, we're mm. checking yeah. Reddit, we're checking, you know, to see what you guys are saying and replying and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I, I couldn't even give you an estimate yeah. because it just, it, it's not like you could do a nine to five, go home, turn off, forget about it. You know, you're always thinking about it and you're always interacting with you guys and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, there's no real kind of... Yeah, and like open time. world games. So like for me, I'm like, right, we'll get a load of playtime in before I do more recordings mm. so we can go, hey guys, we've done this. Sometimes that'll be like two days worth of straight just sitting there going... Like doing side quests and stuff. Um, and then you, by the end of it, you're like, I hate myself. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't want to do another whatever it is I'm doing. But um, So, yeah, sometimes it can be a normal working week. And then sometimes it's just Crazy. every waking moment you are mm. editing or recording or traveling to something or, yeah. you know, conventions for us when we do the America E3, stuff. yeah. That's, that's crazy. It's happen. worthwhile, though. I mean, like, coming to events mm. like this where we yeah. kind of get to see you guys and, and hear what you think about our series really kind of makes it all worthwhile. And, you know, it's, like, it's really kind of, you know, invigorating. and It's crazy. Of... What we do is crazy, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, this, I won't lie. This situation right now is very bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just the whole thing is Do you not strange. normally do this? I thought this is just like a, a Friday for me, isn't it? Just... <laughs> Sit down with the Maybe microphone. in your head. Yeah. 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 You know. That's a dangerous thing. You should see how my, my family living room is arranged, but it's not far distant from this, but obviously less people, and mm. equally less people who want to hear me speak, which is... Yeah. <laughs> what? It gets lonely. Um, but yeah, I think the, the, the crazy thing with our job is it's, it's so close to our passion and hobby that the line gets so blurred, and so sometimes you're playing a game for work, and sometimes you're playing a game because... You really want to play that game anyway. Uh, and as Kim was saying, we're, we're so connected to all the feedback and everything's always going on uh, that it's, it's very hard to, to stop. But I think even on the hardest day that we have, we're still kind of living the dream. Yeah. You know, we've got yeah. you know, pretty much the best jobs going. It's fun. Cool. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's hear it for that question. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Hello. Um, if you were each going to pick a historical figure to make a video with, who would you pick, and what would you play with them, and what would you make the video about? Pre 20th century. Okay. Preferably. Jesus and Happy Wheels. <laughs> really? Yeah. Actually, no. There's a, yeah. I think you'd have a great time. I think oh, wow. Maybe I'd uh, maybe I'd take like Darwin and see what he thought of his play appearance in him. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. <laughs> arc with him. Play arc with yeah. Darwin. Yeah. Arc great. with Darwin. Maybe that'd be great. <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, probably be one of the like historical games, and get that character, that person, and go. Yeah. So, what do you what do you think of this? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a that's a difficult you, one. Kim? I've gone completely blank. And the thing is, when you said historical, for some reason, the first name that popped into my head was Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I get like, Freddie Mercury I would, I would and do like rock band. rock band. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to play rock band with Freddie Mercury. Oh, get all of Queen. But then oh, if yeah. we were going to play rock band, it'd be like, can we just jam instead? Like, just <laughs> yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a terrible answer because that's not historical or pre 20th <laughs> century. Yeah, it's not pretty. Yeah. Uh, I'd I'd love to to beat Hitler at Red Alert. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure though? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> This is the problem with Red Alert, though. The whole game's about, like, they travel back in time and stop Hitler, <laughs> and then it's, mm. it's, it's even horrendous. worse. Yeah, it's all wrong. <laughs> so it's basically a game about Hitler actually wasn't all that bad. It's basically what that whole <laughs> yeah. game is. Maybe, and that worries maybe um, Doom, then, or, or is it Doom or Quake that he's in? It has to be a strategy game. Could you do Wolfenstein? Yeah. It's Wolfenstein. Have, yeah, Wolfenstein. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, he'd he just get really offended by that, though, wouldn't he? No, he'd love oh, it. No. I think he'd <laughs> love it. He would Dude, love if you that. made him play the newer ones, he'd be like, oh, man. He'd have a right go on that. Like, we're not having that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Age of Empires, then. <laughs> with Hitler's still, with that, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so they can play a war game. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to know anyone else, actually. There we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Let's hear it for that question. Cheers. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. Hey, guys. Um, I was speaking to... Hit, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was speaking to Hitler. Um, no, I was speaking to Lewis at the booth earlier. Oh, wow. Similar? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Freud. No, no offence. Um, oh, and he noticed my Nerd Cube t-shirt, and he said, Nerd Cube is like an extrovert, and pretty much everybody in the Yogscast is, is an introvert. 
So how have you managed to keep the Yogscast going since 2008? If you're all introverted. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I, no, I think we've got Terps. a balance of people. Yeah, Terps. <laughs> Terps, maybe? The male model. You make yeah, that's what it is. No, I'd, I'd say Alpines. certainly Alpines. over the years, you've definitely all got far more comfortable in front of crowds and cameras. And I think the first time, if you notice the beginning of all of our channels, there's no face cam, mm. there's no live action stuff. We're just playing games and talking. And that's, I think, where we felt most comfortable because it was doing what we did anyway. We were chatting to our friends, playing the games we loved, and we just happened to record it. Um, and then as we kind of got the infrastructure support around us, uh, we could start putting cameras in people's faces. And uh, these guys up here, I mean, they, they all do amazing. I don't think Kim's an introvert, though. I don't think that's no. fair. No. Kim's, Kim's a very confident... Well, to Maybe. be fair, Hitler was speaking for all of you, so... Mm. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. there you go. Blame Hitler, <laughs> typical. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, let's hear it for that question Thank there. You. Thank you. One. Cheers. Once again... You all got a bit awkward then. You were a bit all introverted around that, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, um, I have two questions. So, first of all, what is your favourite and worst part of the Grimoire of Gaia mod? Oh... Oh. So I know it's the I'm, I'm out on this question. I don't know it very Sorry, well. No, is that the one fine. where you have all like the random the enchantments heartbeat. and stuff? Mm. It's, it's the one where you're getting pested by the werecats. Yeah, oh, yeah. Those the, things. Those yeah. Oh. Things. The werecats. The, are the, the minotaurs worst. in that as well? Yes. They can all yeah, I hate burn. The they can all burn. Basically all the monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Burn them all. It hasn't gone out yet, but I think me and Duncan were trapped inside this little wooden cabin with a giant minotaur outside. We just couldn't leave. We couldn't kill I it. It was spent, just I was just my bed, and then it. It was a door, and then there was a minotaur, and all my stuff was like somewhere else. And I spent literally like 15 minutes just trying to kill this minotaur by punching it, dying, respawning, going out, punching it. It was, it was hell. Okay. Yeah, minotaurs, they can, they okay, can go Okay, I have hell. a second question basically aimed at Duncan. Uh, um, you did um, Duncan's lab a very long time ago. You built your castle with basically a big telescope towards some mm -hmm. honeydew ink. Um, does the schematic of that ever exist at all, or was it never schematicated? I think not that version with the telescope, no. I think this might be a version, because with the I, know, I know Dave copied it onto the new server when we moved, it, when we moved servers. I, I, f I found a fan-made one with the um, railgun, but um, there, are, there are a whole load of jungle wood steps everywhere, all in the wrong direction. Yeah, because I use, I use all like, the micro blocks a lot, so whenever you put it into like, a new mod pack, it, all the blocks change. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't really work, no. People often ask us why like, we, we use a different world and a different seed and a different server when we change from mod packs. It's, yeah, it's just basically because when you, when you kind of do try and copy them over because numbers are different, it just mm. jumbles the whole world up, basically. Oh. I think when we first changed the castle world to another server, every single brick was, <laughs> was like a... As a furnace. It was like a weird machine or something. Yeah. And it yeah. like crashed the server over and over again. It's weird, it's weird. So it took days, like, days to fix that. Yeah, so yeah, it's not, it's not... A load of stuff to turned to sand. We just tried to write oh, it off. Yeah. Didn't oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the whole thing just falls apart. <laughs> that's, that's the original Shadow of Israel yeah. part. It's just, yeah. great. It's just a server breaking. There you yeah. go. <laughs> that's what happened. Right. <laughs> I remember putting a nuclear reaction down and uh, it just crashed the server. And that was it. And that's when I stopped trying to... Play Minecraft. <laughs> I'm not trying to Minecraft. Too, too much stress. Too much stress. <laughs> I, they go, I, I saw your castle in an animation-y type thing that you're doing on your channel. Is that, when's that going to come out? It's going to be a little while. I'm it was working good. On it. it was very funny. It's very good. <laughs> stay tuned. Yeah. Stay Fans tuned. of the castle. It will return. Right, I'm going back to the line because I do have a third question. Okay, okay. cool. Let's hear it for Thank that. You. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question that only the Blastoff team will know. Mm -hmm. But to do that, I'm going to have to do the intro to Blastoff first. So, three, two, one. <laughs> Blastoff! <laughs> Yay! Hey. Where's the Gal Gadot now? <laughs> so, the question is <laughs> out of like, all of the ice guys that play Minecraft, who is the worst at behind cameras? <laughs> oh, the old. Um, it means cheating. <laughs> oh. uh, I think uh, we're, we're all. I don't know. I you. think the cheat police are pretty bad at it. Uh, honestly, on it, yeah. Theirs, I, wasn't, theirs wasn't off cam, so it didn't count. Oh no, <coughs> there was off cam. How That's can, the terrifying how you, thing. How can you off cam cheat a, t a show about cheating? 
Why would you do that? Let's you just, cheat the whole thing. Yeah. Let's hide the, the cheating yeah, in case we see us cheating when we cheat. I thought you hid the legit stuff when you went out That's you know, gathering it. materials. Yeah. Yeah. We actually did all the legit off stuff camera, off camera to, to maintain yeah. street cred. Uh, <laughs> um, it comes and it goes. Like You get kind of frustrating bits and you think to yourself sometimes, well, hang on a sec, are people going to want to watch this or not? Because mm. certain Depends things on the series and what's happening. are boring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. Like, if it breaks, you've got to completely rebuild it and it's like, well... This yeah. is going to be far quicker if I do it off camera and cheat it in because it was there anyway. That's the logic. But on, on the but, flip yeah. side, I mean, like, you know, it, it devalues what you do. If you really want to have a series where you have fun and you feel like you've done something rewarding, then you, you can't do any of that. And you've got to take the breaks and the kind of glitches and just go with them and just accept them as, like, everyone else mm -hmm. has got to deal with it. And that's what, like, Drew's downtown is, like, fully about, I know isn't who it? cheats a lot. Yeah. Who? Lewis. With those dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those you've dinosaurs. Got to, you've got to think, like what's going to be entertaining to watch. And if you've done something five times already, yeah. and it takes 20 minutes, then they probably don't want to watch it again. Yeah. So you mm. can cheat that next time, you know. Speaking of um, Lewis cheating and the new series, Drew's Downtown, how is the um, oil baron's city just happened to be perfect for him, filled with oil and everything? <laughs> I, so don't know. I know. And Magic. what's even... And the videos it's literally gone. a coincidence yeah, that he just happened to find this amazing town. Comes out of his office, he's like, oh, I didn't cheat in any of it. Oh, my video didn't record, though. <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird. No, no, no he, he assures us, and he was kind of like very much like on side with us on this in that like he hasn't cheated in anything. He did get lucky and find a load of cool yeah. stuff. And we want to keep it as sustainable and like as fun for us as possible, so we can keep going with it by making sure there's like no cheating at all. So, cool. Let's hear it for that question. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we're going to burn through the rest of this line. So, uh, sadly, if you're not in the line, you probably won't get a chance to answer your question. Uh, but anyway, let's hear the next one. Uh, good evening. Um, the question I was going to ask has just been asked. <laughs> um, so, all I've got is a riddle for you. And the riddle is, how do you make a bucket lighter? Put a hole in it. That, yes, thank you very much. That's, <laughs> All right, uh, there you go. Yay! 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 Fantastic. Does it still, is Was, it still a bucket, though? Oh, don't start. Was that a Riddler riddle? Can I cross that off my list, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Uh, hi, I've drawn a few cartoons for people in the Ice Cast. Um, I asked Hat Films this on one of their live streams. Could you each give me a word or a phrase so I could make it into another cartoon? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Not Duck Man, just Duck. Just Duck. Just Duck. Yeah. Mahogany Doors. <laughs> Something original there, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing what that Can't looks wait like. wait for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tangerine. <laughs> The size of a tangerine. Yeah. <laughs> Pengling. Pengling. <laughs> then is it come back? Can't say it, so I'm not going to either. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh me, um, uh, Yogg's cast. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Creative Commons. There we go. Then we can use it for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's hear it for that question. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, how's it going? I've got uh, two questions, just quickly. Uh, one is, how do you choose which charities you support for the live streams, and would you consider uh, Help for Heroes or a similar charity to that? Um, we have like an internal vote, don't we? So yeah. we put forward stuff, and then, and that's including like off-camera editors and all of that, and then we just do like a little vote thing. Mm. Yeah, we're actually talking about it now. Yeah. Um, mm. So there's huge email chains going about where we've asked everyone in the company to submit their ideas and what they think and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we And once it. again, Help the Terps just keeps getting shot down as a charity. Yeah. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's not actually it's a charity. Not a charity. I, I voted for it. The rules, yeah. Did you? <laughs> um, in all fairness, I mean, Lewis said this cut. on his Twitch stream the other day. Uh, we would like to this year open it up to the community mm. as well. Uh, we've always tried to support five charities. Uh, we know that we really want to support uh, something promoting mental health. Uh, we think it's one of those issues that uh, kind of, you know, people are all for going for the doctor when they've got a cold, but less so when they've got something uh, that requires mental attention. Um, the tricky thing for us is we tried to do it with Mind last year, and uh, because of some of the games we've played and just gaming in general, uh, they weren't too keen with us supporting them. So if anyone knows uh, any good mental health charities that act on a ideally international level, uh, please get in touch. Uh, just shoot us an email to, uh, to feedback at yogscast.com. Um, and equally, any charities. But like I said, we're going to try and open it up as best we can because ultimately, you know, we've raised three million over the past few years for charity, 
but you guys have done that, so it's only fair you get to decide where it goes. Excellent, thank you. My yeah. second question was going back to what you said earlier, Duncan, about wanting to be a wrestler. Um, could we ever see you maybe in like a wrestling costume, maybe some little wrestling no, pants? No, no, please no, um, don't. Oh, Halloween's no. coming up, so... Wrestle Shind or no. Simon or... No. I'd do it, I'd do it for charity. My, my wrestling wrestling We've already ring. seen you in a Plants vs. Zombies thing, that mainly was enough. Mainly be a duck onesie. Oh, I'd do it again. A scarf. A life. duck onesie, I think, would be my, my wrestling what costume. What about like, the ultimate duck hunt? I'll be like a, like a hound, and you can be like a duck, and we'll... <laughs> I, I yes. don't know. This is yeah. verging yes. further from wrestling now, isn't it? <laughs> this is going into yeah. wrestle yeah. in jelly. Oh, God. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, maybe I, as a yeah. stretch goal, if we can hit a million dollars, uh, you guys could wrestle in jelly, maybe. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Would anyone like to see that? There we go. <laughs> nice. I'm sure after seeing it, we would all regret yeah. it instantly. Yeah, yep. a little bit go. dirty. <laughs> there we go. Thanks Thank for you. those questions. Cheers. Thank you. Hi guys, my question is, if you guys were going to start a, a channel uh, by Square by Square One individually, what would be your plans to getting from Square One to where you are now? Oh, do exactly what PewDiePie is doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever, whatever video he puts out, make Copy. the same video. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we have similar games, so I keep getting accused of copying you, and I'm like, no, yeah. oh, I just... We have the same taste. The thing is, it's changed a lot since when we started. It's yeah. a very almost oversaturated Saturated, platform, yeah. so it's a lot harder to get noticed. You have to. I mean, how many years did the main channel have before it got anywhere? Like it's about three years. About yeah. three yeah. years. Well, yeah, all and the that big, was back then. The big names now, like PewDiePie, KSI, and all that. You know, they were YouTubing for mm. ages before they hit kind of yeah. notice, mm. got noticed, and made that huge. Yeah, we were a three-year um, overnight success. <laughs> and that's find most, most of it takes ages. Uh, the best advice we can give is you've got to just do something you love because that's the only thing that makes it sustainable. You won't have audience day one, but if you have to do it because you've got this really funny thing you want to do or this game you really want to share, uh, then that's got to be the drive. And keep doing it long enough and audiences will find you. Yeah. Cool. Right. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Um, would you, uh, um, PS4 or Xbox One, and with your favourite one, what game do you like the most on it? PS4, Genesis Warriors. <laughs> Whoa! Steady! <laughs> just Steady! Saying, just saying. But Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U, though. Uh, that's not, that's not yeah, a question. Wii was an option. That's not an option. I'm thinking outside the box. <laughs> outside the box, I, I get mean, it, because the console's yeah. a box. I'm in a difficult situation, because Tomb Raider's only on Xbox One. Is it? Currently. Currently, but I'll say PS4 because that's gonna change. Out, not Outlast, uh, Until Dawn, and Infamous, and eventually Tomb Raider. I like the Blood PS4 Boy. because it hasn't got a giant brick of a power yeah. supply. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> also, it hasn't got something that was yeah. watching me, and also would just turn itself on. Oh, the yeah. On a whim. Connect is cool. PS4 because yeah. I haven't turned my Xbox One on in. I two, bet you will do when Halo comes out though. No, <laughs> just, I don't know. It's just, well, I think the thing that frustrates me about the Xbox One is that when I turn it on and try to play a game, I can't find the bit that says play game. Like I can't. I, it's, <laughs> no. The menu is so you gotta messy. Tell it. It's because she's a new like, Xbox no, the, play <laughs> game. Please <laughs> come on. Like such a PS person. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say <laughs> there. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I just I can't. The menu is so messy on an Xbox. I can't find where the hell it is. You just go play game like there. Whereas on a PlayStation, it's the first thing you know when you when you launch um, the PlayStation. But for game wise, uh, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Someone clapped over here, so there you go. Yay. 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 There we go, Bloodborne. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to the new Halo because I love Halo, but that's the only reason I bought an Xbox One. I haven't touched it since I bought it. Yeah, yeah my and Xbox One was used once, yeah. so I got the name. It was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But when, when Halo comes out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the crap out of that game. <laughs> 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 I really am. But yeah, other than that, like, I use my PS4 a lot more just because everyone else in the office uses them as opposed to Xboxes. I think you just use what your friends use, really. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah thank you. you. Cheers, thank you. thank you very much. If you could only play one game for the rest of your life, which game would you pick? Dota mm. 2. Really? It changes. You'd be so it's angry. Variety. <laughs> You'd be so angry, though, all know. the time. I already am. Yeah, that's true. You'd be angrier. But what other game has such variety? 
Minecraft. <laughs> because no, because you'd have to play vanilla. Yeah, but I could still do Maybe. my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's true. true. That's true. I don't know for the rest of my life. I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard. I don't know. Because I think you can't have choose. a franchise, you have to have a game, and it's like, well, crap. World of Warcraft, maybe. Because I managed to play that for 10 years without getting too bored. Do you reckon you got another 10 in you? I reckon I've got another 10 in me. Yeah. Yeah. I probably. <laughs> I think it's got to be that. It's the only game that's kept, kept me going that long. This seems to be really paining you, Kim. I'm, I know. I'm worried. I've got like so many games in my head. This isn't going to be enforced. It's like Sophie's just, choice. Just yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't worry about this. Probably um, Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh really? Oh, yeah. No one knows about it, so yeah. But it's that, a really tough that. game. Was it on Game Boy Advance? Oh, well, on Game Boy, whatever it is. Advanced. How old am I? Not that old. <laughs> is it on Game Boy? <laughs> No. Well, it's on the 3DS. 3DS. They, so well, the that's new that's Game, a Game Boy. Boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 3D. It's 3D Game Boy. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Through the 3D Game Boy. Game. Well, that'd be interesting. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys just play those games now from now on. Thank you. <laughs> Legally oh, thank binding. you. Thank you. So much. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you. What are your thoughts on Star Wars Battlefront? So that was, what are your thoughts on Star Wars Battlefront? Oh. Take it away, Duncan. I have yet to play it, but it looks yeah. fantastic. And we've heard... That's an informed decision right You now. guys yeah. have just been raving as well. That's I think it. what I love most about it is that like, all the explosions and the, sh the shooting and all the lasers and stuff look just like the original films. <laughs> and for me, that, that's, that's really cool. That's not hard. It is. There's like sparks and stuff. It looks... Like special effects as opposed to like games. Yeah, it looks like effects. old, yeah, bad true. special effects. I love it. Yeah. I love, that. I love how it just looks like Star Wars. Yeah, but I haven't played it, so I don't know if it's any good. That's the thing. I mean, the time we <laughs> get off between signing uh, isn't long enough to, for that queue, yeah. mm -hmm. let me tell you. But there's, 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 there's a reason, right? I mean, like, yeah. yeah. So I've heard good things. I really want to play it. Big Star Wars fan. Beta's mm -hmm. coming out, I think, next week, isn't it? Or the week Ooh. after? It's are you gonna long. Are you going to sort us out, Taps? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole office. Like yeah. the editors are raving, everyone's raving. I so, think it's open yeah. to everyone. I think that's the. Yeah. 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 Nice. But I'll oh, sort you out. Sorry, yeah, don't you worry. Yeah, don't you yeah. Worry. Sort us out. Uh, 20 quid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me some lightsabers, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank okay, you. well, well done. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So uh, a question for all the panel. Um, basically, obviously, it was during uh, when you were doing the Jaffa Factory. But basically, obviously, you had Mar uh, Martin Littlewood join onto that server and start doing a camp. Uh, but it was never finished. Um, so I mean, with Martin Littlewood and his teammates joining uh, the Yogscast, what can we see any of those coming back in collaboration with Minecraft together? It's up to mine, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah like he doesn't like playing Minecraft anymore. Yeah. So. He's, so he's finished on that. Yeah. I mean, would, would you be doing any collaborations? Obviously, because I know that Simon is now coming back into things as well, uh, announced on Twitter. So, I mean, would you be uh, like doing a comeback for, for Minecraft, like one last time type thing? Or with like a special episode? Yeah, like, Wait, like, that's you, entirely up to Martin. I don't know, like, if, isn't it? if he wants to, I, I'll be up yeah. for doing it with him. He's always to. welcome to do anything. But I mean, even so. if it was for a charity cause type thing, you know, like yeah. one special episode. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's, yeah. it's Martin's <laughs> yeah, 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 choice, yeah, I know, so... I know it's Martin's choice, I, but yeah. If, if he wants to do that, I'll be totally up for yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. suggest it to him. Yeah, <laughs> on like Twitter. He's got yeah. a Twitter, he's very yeah. active. He's at TwitchCon at the moment as well. Yeah, TwitchCon. In San Francisco. With enjoying America. There we go. Well, let's hear it for that question there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hello. My question is, um, do you call Shin Shin in the office, or do you call him by his actual name? No. What is your actual name? Dave. It's Paul. Paul Phoenix. Tom. It's Paul Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we call them Shin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, like, what we call them on camera, because we've known them as friends for so long, that's the names we call them. Yeah. So like we don't call we don't call Silas Rick. That's just weird, unless you're taking. The I don't call him Duncan. That would be silly. No, we do call him Duncan. Weirdly, there's a few that have changed. Yeah, we call they? him Livid Coffee all the time. Yeah, we don't call him Launa. <laughs> Wait, Coffee. Livid. Livid. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. No, it's shin, shin. it's shin, a curious shin. one. I mean, like yeah, when when you spend so long with your friends under that name and and yeah. yeah. Even in real yeah. life, it kind of, I, used to, I used to kind of think it was funny when I met people that, that called each other their in-game names, but now I do it all the time. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> but 
Plus, how do you actually say Sijin? Sijin. It's like a snake ordering gin. Sijin. So I'll have a sjin, please. You don't even know. Yes. It changes. It changes in videos, like from one sentence to another. I don't know. Some, if, people, if some people just can't say it. So if I just you're say lazy, it. then you say shin. Shin, yeah. We're all lazy. Shin, shijin. I don't know if it's lazy to just like say it differently. I think it's just. Sijin. It's just mixing it up, keeping it, keep it fresh. It's different, yeah. <laughs> Who, else? Who else do we call by their Zylus, game names? Sips. Sips. Yeah, uh, Sips, Sips, yeah. Sips. Yeah. Um, Sips. Smithy? Smith, Trot. Smith, Trot. Well, Trot's surname, yeah. well, isn't it, really? Surnames, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't call him Trotibus, actually, do we? Trotibus. No. It's just too much. DJ3, HD, Max, HD Max man. Yeah, yeah. DJ call Simlex. him that yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> don't know his real name, actually. Just Rotten. call him DJ3 Max. Yeah, Hap Films rolls two. off the tongue. Yeah. Uh. yeah. <laughs> As a dyslexic person, that's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I read his name, I'm like, the, the, the still Max guy. Spell it. <laughs> Max. <laughs> I mean, it's, it was so annoying that he, even he's changed his own signature, so he doesn't have to write the whole thing out. He just <laughs> yeah. puts Ross now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I noticed that now, actually, yeah. yeah. Perian. Perian, yeah. Oh, yeah, Perian. he's called Ted, isn't he? Rhythian. 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 Rhythian's yeah. name... In real life, is cooler than his fake name. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird. He's he's what is he? Joachim Hellstrand. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like a Diablo name. weapon, like suffix, like yeah. so cool. Hellbrand of the Devourer. So cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, let's hear it for that question. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. Hello. I, you obviously fans of Doctor Who. You mentioned. A, having a weeping angel that you like to prank people with earlier. What I want to know is, if the doctor appeared before you and asked you to be his companion, what you would bring to the table? What skills would you... Which doctor is it? Well, Matt Smith's doctor, of course. <laughs> I'm going to get lynched so gonna for that, are you going to turn down the doctor yeah. if it's Matt Smith's doctor? Who would you say <laughs> yes to for these galactic adventures? Uh, I make a mean Amy Pond. So. He, yeah. Yes, he does. Actually, oh what god, we're yes. saying, we're already, yeah, we're sorted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh god, that was a horrific day in the office. That was great. I Could I've you never do Shin's so makeup? <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> but what would you bring to the table? How would you help the doctor on his adventures? <laughs> oh no, I really wouldn't. <laughs> that was a really freaky laugh. No, I don't. No, ne next person. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably small enough to be a Dalek, like to get in the Dalek case, so I could be a decoy Dalek, frankly. <laughs> awesome. I, don't, I don't watch Doctor Who. I oh. I don't know anything about it. Me, seriously. I know there's like a little dog robot or something. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so oh Davros. He's like Davros. Little pup. Is, is, oh. Daltos, the dog, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah Daltos. Yeah. Actually, one. isn't Doctor Who on now? No, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Saturday, yeah, sorry. It was just such a cliffhanger. I've got to go. It was such a cliffhanger last week. Oh, God, Peter Capaldi. I'd love to watch Dr. Hooper. I think, in the thick of it. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that, Hannah, you could handle yourself against a lot of the aliens that come up against the Doctor. You'd probably carry him. You'd carry him. Yeah. Do they fight and stuff in Doctor Who? Yes. Well, it's mainly running away and talking their way out of things. Does the TARDIS have guns? No. Does it need guns? It's got a it's phone. Space, it's a spaceship. Does the TARDIS have guns? That's like guns. a screwdriver. That's not a gun. Imagine like a it's tank a TARDIS. Like oh, screw like to be fair, is it supposed to be a war? It's supposed to be a war machine. Is that? Can it God fly? Knows, I've forgotten. Can it fly? It goes through time. Yeah, but can it fly? Yes. Okay. Oh God! Jesus. If you'd like to learn more about Doctor Who, <laughs> watch the TV please, show. Don't please ask. just go please on don't Wikipedia. Cry. Don't please, ask Duncan. Please, please I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I won't cry for his ignorance. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your question, <laughs> and sorry <laughs> for that. Okay, so this could be for anyone, but mostly it's for Hannah. Um, you and Smith have really nice voices, so have you ever thought about maybe doing a duet for Christmas or something? And what, like the karaoke streams? Yeah. <laughs> didn't you? Wait, are we going to do some of this? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking we're about do doing a duet of streams now, aren't I, we? I, well, I emailed him last I, night. Exactly, <laughs> and I, I already love it. So what we're going to hopefully do is two sets of karaoke stream, because it's too much for just one night. Yeah. Um, and I think we can all agree, obviously, yeah, Hannah and Smith have, have stunning voices that nearly rival my own. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't wait to do it. It was so much fun to do last year. So many people got involved. And I think after last year being so much fun, even more want to get involved. Uh, Shin, I've never seen someone look so beautiful in a dress. Oh, thank you. Uh, and what a stretch goal that was. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, yeah. That's oh. the thing, like, we hopefully can oh. do more stretch goals. I just remember like that. that. No, I know. <laughs> you weren't there, man. 
You went there. I was watching it. No, I... Oh, geez. Kim was upstairs and we wanted to, oh, yeah. to bring her on the show. I was working. Yeah. <laughs> like, someone has to do And then she ran away. <laughs> quickly. But yeah, I... Would you, would you record a song with Smith? Sure, but I can't read or write music, so... You can someone sing have to do music. that for That's me. That's brilliant. That's fine. Someone have to do it for me and then tell me... Have we got any ideas for songs for Hannah and Smith? I'd have... Um, Salty and the and the beast, beauty and the salt. That would it. There we go. Salty beauty. beauty. And the salt. Salty yeah. and the salt. Salty beast. Just Smithy getting angry. God help us. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. He's a very That's good terrifying. singer. He is he's a very good singer. Yeah, very good singer. But he is but in a band. A very so. very salty man. Just <laughs> angry about so many things. But that comes Jesus. through in his voice. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. The soul. Oh. There we go. Well, oh, let's hear geez. it for that question. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, my question is, if you could choose any game to get a sequel, what would you choose? Grim Fandango. Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, Some people from Double Fine in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, obviously, Sips did a playthrough mm. that I think was more successful than yours. Are you not tempted to do a second playthrough and just uh, use the fire extinguisher a lot? I don't agree that it was no... <laughs> <laughs> Mine did very well. It's a delicate, it did, it delicate. was great. It was just a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. And you only used the fire extinguisher when stuff was on fire. I needed, I needed yeah. it once. Well, I knew how the game worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The, pro yeah, the problem is everything is being given a sequel or, mm. you know, a, another number in it and stuff like that. So, like, you I, know... Maybe, maybe Silent Hills... Can I have Silent Hills? Not really, answer? because that's like technically number 10 well, in the no, series. No, but it's cancelled, so it technically it doesn't exist. But that's not a sequel, that's no. just make the game happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> make number 10 Shadow in Shadow of long... Mordor. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, oh. hey, we like liked that. that, didn't we? I'd love a Call of Duty sequel, actually. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny you should say Man. that, Duncan. They've got like five. <laughs> what? They're working on probably about a million right now. Oh, I missed no. all these games. Uh, Where have you been? Bloodborne. I'd like a Bloodborne sequel. I knew I'd get one clap. Didn't <laughs> <laughs> you just gave up? Like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> help, help me. <laughs> what, do you, what do you reckon, Hannah? What? Sequel wise. Well, I said Shadow of Mordor. A bit. I, yeah. Actually, let's be honest, you, they probably are doing oh, so. Because the me. end was very. Um... Oh, I knew a second ago and I forgot. Oh, uh, Minecraft 2. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> that'd be a good one. Because, oh. like, no. <laughs> It's not a joke answer. Seriously, like Minecraft, I feel like not, not much has changed vanilla-wise for a long time. Like they got the combat update, um, which is going to be good. But but yeah, I'd like to see them like kind of incorporate some because there's so many mods for Minecraft, and so many of them be really good as just core parts of the game. So I think maybe maybe Minecraft Two would be cool. <laughs> maybe go. Minecraft wow. space. What do you think, Terps? Cool? What would yours be? Oh, uh, I don't know. As a hardcore FIFA and Pez player, <laughs> I, I've got all the sequels I need. Um, Hearthstone two uh, wouldn't make sense because I'm I can't do Hearthstone one yet. Yeah. The first um, one's maybe broke anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I couldn't afford the sequel. Exactly. Uh, I, I I I don't know. There's too many good games to need sequels. Warcraft uh, four. That's there's already sequels though. But yeah, yeah Warcraft four. They said they might do. Um, no, I, I don't know. I like, I'm playing so much Metal Gear Solid at the moment. Um, having the Phantom Pain be feeling this kind of unfinished game, I'd like there to be a sequel to that. Or just the, the game. Or just an which ending. finishes the yeah. game. Just the ending. Yeah. Just an ending. They just include the, last the ending mission. on the uh, collector's edition, so you can watch yeah. what you could have played, oh my which good is uh, a first, <laughs> I think, in the world of games. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, well, thank you very much for your question. Thank One thank more you. to go. Here we go. Thank you. Well, we've just about run out of time. They're going to kick us out soon. Um, so, firstly, just thank you to everyone for coming along today. We really, really appreciate it. Um, on your seats when you came in, there should have been a postcard. That's uh, a concept sketch uh, for the event poster that you might have seen at the stand. Uh, so that was done by Nina. Uh, that's a little kind of thank you for coming along tonight. Uh, those you'll never see anywhere else, uh, so treasure them. Uh, I think it was one of those things. It's nice to see some of the process that goes into the art. We've got such a fantastic team uh, we really need to bring them along to one of these events sometime. Mm. Get Chutes mm. in the corner drawing pictures. That'd be brilliant. Maybe MCM. Who knows? Yeah. Um, I think we need to thank our fantastic panel. Uh, firstly, uh, Mr. Duncan. Let's hear it for Duncan. Good up, man. Absolutely beautiful. Duncan <laughs> Duckman. Kim. Duncan let's hear it for Kim. Thank you. Let's hear it for Hannah. And let's hear it for Shin. 
And then let's hear for all of you, all of the questions. They're all fantastic. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, we're obviously going to be here tomorrow during the day, equally. Uh, we've got another Q&A tomorrow with Hat Films and Lewis. Uh, so um, definitely, if you're concerned about swearing, don't come to that one, uh, <laughs> Hat Films. Uh, so thank you once again, and we will see you hopefully soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about the water. You've got wet.